Okay. Then let's get started. Okay. okay, so welcome everyone. Um, we now are, as you know, we're recording as well. So for everyone who's not gonna be joining today live, you can all watch it, um, all watch the recording later. Uh, so a quick reminder, this is a CNCS, CNCF meeting. So please adhere to the CNCF code of conduct, which basically means be respectful and kind to each other. Not too difficult, I think. Um, okay, quick update on the glossary. So I, uh, I think I mentioned that before, we are working on a glossary marketing plan with the CNCF. And the goal is to have more members, media, analysts um, to use it in their own material, right? Kind of like seeing like, okay, we have these um, vendor neutral definitions there. Um, and whenever we're referring to that, they sh should at least kind of look at glossary uh, and see if that's a good point. Um, we're also kind of talking about a cloud native learning journey page, which will be something where all the different cloud native resources will be, um, yeah, bundled right now. You have all these things in different places when you want to, so it's like really difficult. If you want to learn about cloud native, you have to find them. There's no one place. So we want to put it all together, uh, start with the easiest, right? Like the thing. It's like, like, first of all, we'll come like a very easy, what is cloud native? The second one will probably be the glossary. Then, um, I don't know, we have several things that we have to build, like uh, have to add there, like the cloud native landscape guide and so on. And then it will get increasingly more advanced. Um, so there is something for every, and it will be clear what is one one 202 and so on. So I think that will be really e helpful and it will also help visit, uh, yeah, gain visibility for all assets. Um, um, yeah, and so last time we were talking about uh, uh, how we would love for di the different teams to talk about the glossary, uh, their own project in their own regions. And I've seen that um, uh, the Korean team and the Italian team have at least like um, created their localized uh, Oh, their own uh, deck in the localized uh, folder. Um, and I was wondering if, um, yeah, do you have any concrete ideas already? Or is it something that was like just um, just to get started? Uh, as for the Italian team, we just started. We haven't spent much time yet. Uh, we will focus on it over the next two weeks, probably. So maybe on the next meeting we'll be able to tell you something more yeah Hopefully. do you have any did you did you find any uh because one of the things is like finding opportunities to submit this because i think that's probably yeah, the most difficult yeah yeah yes exactly we are thinking about case in italy it will be in mm -hmm. november it will be oh that in would november. be awesome so so that could be a first a first opportunity mm -hmm. awesome but still uh, we have to think about uh presenting it um within different companies for example mm -hmm. uh, we have we are six uh, contributors from different companies so beginning from our own company could be uh, a start um, and then we will see yeah yeah awesome yeah uh, not more than that sorry <laughs> no 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 <laughs> <It's> a bit <laughs> slow <laughs> not at all i mean like that was just a month ago that we put it out there and it's like again like the first you cannot present anywhere if there is no like opportunity you have, mm -hmm. but I don't know. So it's great that uh, KCD Italy is still um, like open. available to yeah open. So, like once it's like once it's if it's closed, you have to wait for a whole whole year, right? So I don't think there's a KCD Korea yet, right? Maybe team no. <laughs> One more thing. <laughs> um, yeah and yeah so. I, I assume the same for, for you, Seok uh, and Jihoon, right? Like still no concrete. Uh, yeah, actually we also created our Korean version. And we actually uti utilized this uh, presentation to uh, contribute Shan Academy in hosted oh. by Korean uh, 
Korean government agency. Mm -hmm. So we introduced this material to uh, uh, around 20 mentees. Actually, mm -hmm. June and I are mentor of that uh, program. Mm -hmm. So we already introduced the uh, CNCF cloud native glossary project to them and also the Korean localization. So uh, it is uh, the first version of the uh, introduction for uh, Korean folks regarding the our uh, project. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool. And again, as a reminder, so there is a um, promo kit folder uh, linked here that should be accessible to anyone that has the deck. We also are trying to keep the localized decks in there so other people can see them. So, you know, like if, if other people have good ideas or whatever. Uh, so we, we want to share as much as possible. I also started a social media because I forgot that I was going to do this and I started this morning. Uh, and But feel free of anyone. I know Annalisa is also in marketing. So if you have any ideas, because um, I think like two things that we want to, and again, this is for the teams to like you personally to promote on your social media account to, you know, your network. And I think there are two goals. One is like getting like, so there are two kind of posts that we can do. Like one is like, hey, there is a uh, a glossary in Korean, check it out, right? So for people to, and then another one is like, hey, um, there is a team, we need some help, right? Like two different things, because we need both. We need people to know about it, to use it, but also to contribute. Um, so again, like whoever wants to contribute potential posts or ideas that they have, or once you've posted them and you've seen like some got a lot of engagement, so it's like, oh, maybe that's something that resonated, like put it in there. The more we have, the better we can all share. Um, okay, I think that was from me. So now is, I think, so cool. Uh, yeah, uh, I hope to introduce new PR template. Previously, we didn't have a uh, PR template. Uh, recently, uh, in maintainers uh, meeting, we have decided we decided to make a uh, new PR template. So. You can check the first link. It is, uh, Catherine, could you click the first link? Sorry. <laughs> so it is PR template. So you can, when you open up PR, uh, now you need to describe your changes in this PR. And uh, if there are, there is related issue, then you can put a related issue. And then, uh, the contributors need to check the checklist for opening a PR. Uh, it is, they are regarding the uh, uh, the uh, originality of your work and the sign up procedure. As you uh, recall, we uh, we applied uh, this CEO in our repository. So you need to do signing off, sign off for your uh, commit. So it is about the uh, checklist for the SEO. So uh, yeah, that's all for the uh, this uh, PR PR template, and oh, no. maybe you can check the. Uh, exam pressure, people are using this PR template. Yeah, and uh, if you have any, uh, if, if you find any enhancement point about regarding the PR template, then uh, you can open up PR for the PR template as well. So thank you. Is there any question regarding that? I think none. So. Yeah, we can move toward. Okay, cool. And sorry for the weird weirdness in a moment. Um, okay, so uh, Nexus overview. That's also Silco, right? You wanted to announce we have a new Spanish approval, or yeah, may maybe uh, Spanish team since there's layer here. 
I think yeah. Larry can present. No, okay. that only that we have a new member on the team of the Prover team. Uh, we are about seven uh, writers and reviewers, and now we have a new approver that is Nicolas. Uh, in fact, there were two members that I wanted to uh, to join as approvers, um, but we chose Nicolas because uh, the other member was already an approver in other Kubernetes projects. So, but it's nice to have several people trying to get involved, trying to join in as approver as a reviewer. So the team is is working really really great. And uh, regarding to status, we have eleven terms that are published, two terms that are have been added in the last month, and we have three more in progress. Another good thing is that the blog post about our team was published in the 19th of August. So we we got some some publicity for our team. So far, I think not, not, we don't have new members joining us writers, but um well, we we are stable we are using also the the project board and so so far it's working really good for us and we are applying the same thing to this kubernetes documentation now we we've been able to create also a project board for the team and yeah we are joining efforts between the kubernetes documentation team and the glossary because at the end we are working on this more or less the same things the same terms, the same concept so it's it's nice to join forces across teams in Kubernetes community. And that's all regarding publicity. Probably we will do a, a talk about the glossary and, and other uh, localization efforts in the Cafe de Spain that is also taking place in November. I think this is just after the Italy case study. So I think it's the next week. So yeah, trying to get the, the people to know that this is a project going on. And, how they can join, how they can participate and contribute uh, to this, to the glossary, to the Kubernetes documentation, and also to other uh, CNCF projects like the security white paper that we are also localizing, or the Kubernetes uh, dashboard, the interface that ships by default with Kubernetes. So here we have other people, Spanish, uh, Spanish speakers, trying to, to get these projects and a lot of projects from the CNCF in in their native language. So I think it's working so far so good. Yeah, and I forgot to add about the blog post so that I, I will add that in the, yeah, so um, a link to it so that people can see it as well. Um, and I just thought like, cause we were talking about um, social, uh, social media posts, that is something else that we should use in social media over and over again, right? It's like, hey, join our team, here is why, whatever. So instead of linking to the glossary. So the blog post is something that each team can use over and over again as a resource to learn what, like why the team yeah, that's itself. True. And especially because in the blog post, there are some context of why it's important in your mm -hmm. language. So uh, in, mm -hmm. in ours, we had some history about why Spanish is, is widely used. So it's a better entry point than just a random GitHub repository with a lot of features open. So it's a more human yeah, way to, to start getting into a project. Yeah, it's a lot more personal, right? So it's a very, um, so yeah, and I love those blog posts because I uh, always learn a ton. Um, okay, so French, Christophe. Yes. So first of all, nice to meet you all um, since it's the first time that I'm joining this meeting. Uh, Flavia was not able to attend today. Um, so this is really the beginning of, of our journey. Uh, so we started to do a couple of um, translation, but uh, only a couple because we really, really want to review them all together so that we can be aligned on some terms. And um, do we need to translate this one or not and, and this kind of stuff. So that's what we did. Uh, we hope that we'll be able to integrate them and to merge them uh, by the end of the week. And after that, uh, we will continue. So we really hope to be able to have the first batch of 10 uh, words that needs to be translated for the <clears throat> for going live uh, by the end of the month. So Ooh. yeah, we, we, try, we will try to do that. Let's hope we'll be able to. French That's exciting. Community. The French community <laughs> is very active. Yeah. I saw the case study from for next year would be big. 
yeah yeah it will uh, you know but uh, you know, yeah yeah i, I know them it. but um I, actually i'm not living in france anymore uh i'm uh, living in montreal in canada so yeah i know them uh and uh but uh, i don't think i will be able to attend this one but uh uh, just before uh, COVID, we were planning to have a KCD here in Montreal. So um, I think we will resume that quite soon. Uh, but right now, I think uh, most of the things are a bit under the ice, under the ice, uh, on the ice because of the um, cloud, uh, Cuban, um, KubeCon, which is uh, arriving quite fast here in, in Detroit. So most of the efforts will be going towards that. And uh, I think we will resume that uh, right after. Yeah, and so you said- but we are you are... Oops, sorry, go ahead. No, no, it's okay. Uh, but uh, we are really close to the, um, let's say the Kubernetes um, local community. Uh, I know them quite a lot. I was involved in the KCD that we are starting to do uh, in uh, before the COVID. So we pl definitely plan to have something uh, related to the glossary as soon as we have uh, published something. Awesome. And I but know that yeah. it's something that you discussed because Flavian told me that, that this is something that you have discussed uh, in the past that it would be great to to be present on Meetup and stuff like that. So definitely this is something that we will do. Awesome, yeah. Uh, but yeah, again, like uh, still don't, don't stress too much about the, it's a lot of work. So <laughs> don't no, burn your- No, no, don't worry. <laughs> We want you to, it's, no, it's no, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, but excited uh, to have you on board. Uh, and, oh, one question maybe, how how did you um, end up uh, joining the glossary meeting? Uh, the glossary, not the meeting, glossary. Uh, the project. glossary? Um, mm -hmm. uh, so basically, um, I, um, I'm, I've been really involved in the open source community for a very long time. Uh, I've been uh, the leader of the French Ubuntu community for six years uh, and stuff like that. And um, I've always had the translation uh, in my mind. Uh, I did quite a lot of time. That, that's always how I have started to enter in the community. Uh, and I did that uh, for the last uh, 20 years. Uh, and um, I saw, and I'm, Part of my job is doing some kind of uh, technical curation uh, for my team uh, team workers, and um, I'm I saw <clears throat> I don't remember which one. Maybe it was the Korean uh, glossary that went live, and uh, I talked to Flavia and Ludovic and told them, okay, uh, I saw that uh, there's a a team that we need to start a team to do that. Uh, there is no uh, nothing going on for the French one, so let's do that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah and Ludovic and Ludovic and Flavia and myself, we were we used to work on the same company in the same company in France. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, and with Flavia, we still work in the same company here in Canada. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, excited to see the French uh, glossary coming to life. Yeah. Yes. 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 I think I really think it would be great. Yeah, uh, I don't think we have anyone from Team Hindi here, do we? No, no. Um, okay, you can see it there. Uh, 15 live, uh, five new terms, and 12 work in progress. Uh, okay, let's move to Italian and Lisa. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> we managed to uh, translate, localize 10 new terms. They're currently under review and some of them are accepted but in waiting for merging. Uh, four new terms are uh, actually in progress and we counted 35 terms uh, out of the total 73, uh, 73 terms uh, of the English repo of the English as per now. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of August they were 33, uh, 73. Um, we are a bit struggling because uh, the team uh, was made up of six contributors, but one person is still in sick leave, unfortunately. One is paternity leave, one is on holiday for one month, so <laughs> we will see how to catch up and, and uh, speed up because our uh, goal is to uh, complete 
the glossary by Detroit, by the KubeCon Ooh. of America. Yeah, we, we, we decided to have that goal so that yeah. we will do our best effort, we will do our best, but at least we have uh, an ambitious goal. Uh, yeah. It is very ambitious, so don't stress about it. Because as I said, like no. we want you to stay and not burn out, and then no. say like I don't want to. No, no, you're no, not stressing. The point okay. is that as, as in, in these days, only three of us are working on it, and I'm struggling with the technical workflows and everything. So uh, I, I'm uh, slowing down the team. Uh, otherwise, yeah. uh, the other two are translating uh, two, three terms per week. So they. Oh, that's they a pretty are, fast are, yeah, pace. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yes. I think we'll need to um, understand as a team how to keep up with um, updated translations. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about the source language. Uh, mm -hmm. Because if English uh, gets, update, it gets updated, uh, we need to uh, try and understand how to trace it, how to monitor it, and how to, to align. There is your discussion terms. Yeah, I know. I saw okay. it. Okay. I saw it, but I'm not sure I can understand that. So I need someone, not the team, uh, that mm, who, who takes uh, on charge um, that kind of issue. But again, we'll see. And that's okay. it. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great plans. <laughs> Nice yeah, core. No. <laughs> yeah. Pardon? Nice core. Yeah. Yeah. Korean team yeah. should follow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Korean does follow. Who wants to do the Korean part? Yeah, maybe Yungon can introduce. Can you, Yungon? Okay, I will I will start. <laughs> Uh, first of all, uh, I'm I'm very glad to join this meeting, and uh, actually this is uh, my second time uh, to this meeting, but I'm still a little nervous. Anyway, uh, let me start. Uh, since the uh, last meeting, we have localized five more terms, and we have like uh, nine terms are working in progress. Three pairs opened. And as you know, the, we share and check our localization progress in the discussion. Uh, you can see our progress in the discussion. And eight new contributors have participated uh, since the last meeting. And also, the we have planned uh, we have a plan to merge the dev code branch into main branch, maybe uh, uh, this Sunday. Uh, maybe that's all. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, and Spanish we've yeah. done already. So, any? Don't Sorry. Yunkon, don't be nervous. I was talking to Yunkon. Oh yeah, yeah, not at all. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah. Any discussion points or anything that? Um, you have that you didn't put on the agenda or okay cool yeah. then we don't have to make this longer than it is i know the people in korea want to go to bat <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thanks again to you for the most present team and the latest uh <laughs> <day of the hour. laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks everyone. Uh, and thank you. Uh, we'll talk to you in a month, I guess. Sure. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.